I wish I was more successful because everyone around me seems to have everything damn packed. I've done multiple internships at top companies. I'm a CSC SOC director and a CSC tutor, but I still feel like I'm not good enough. I feel like I keep failing and I can never do anything well. I try to do so many things, but end up underperforming. The tech industry can feel like an incredibly hostile place for women and minorities. I worry that I'll face discrimination and bias that I'll never be taken seriously by my colleagues or employers. I worry that I'll be dismissed um, as just a diversity hire, that I'll never be able to prove myself on merit alone. I feel like this used to also be like a fear of mine. Um, while I haven't actually been in the tech industry and actually have um, a tech job, I have been to some incredible um, discussions where they had amazing women panelists that are always fighting for our women rights and minority rights in the workforce. I feel like there's still a lot to improve on, um, but it's definitely changing, which I think is great. And I think, you know, to overcome that fear and just to be confident in yourself and be confident in your ideas. Oh, okay, I can start reading. Okay. Usually my biggest insecurities are my appearance and also that I'm half Asian but don't feel Asian enough. People usually just assume I'm white and I'm not very good at speaking the language and my knowledge of the culture is a bit limited, so it makes me feel like I don't have the right to claim it as part of my identity even though it is. That's a rough one, that's rough. Um, I think one of the things that I've had to deal with is that I was born overseas. I'm not half, but I was born overseas and I've kind of really struggled with that identity because coming here to Australia at such a young age has been quite interesting because I ha am somewhat connected to, to my home country by like constantly visiting, um, but I didn't grow up there. So I really don't speak the language very well. I can kind of understand it. Um, and I think it really hit recently once uh, my cousins started having kids and they don't speak English. So that one was kind of like a hard hitting thing. And it is hard for me because it's obviously like, I don't look like a stereotypical Australian. Um, it's so I, I struggle to claim myself as Australian. And then I wasn't born here. So then I also struggle to claim myself as being from where I am because I didn't grow up there. Someone described it as almost being like a hyphen. You're somewhere in the middle. You're not neither there or here. Um, and it's a unique identity that I think I've kind of grown thinking that it's just a different one. It doesn't have to be one or the other. It's just kind of like being OK with just being in the middle. Not feeling good enough as a uni tutor. Feeling like I don't know the programming language well enough to be teaching it and doubting my skills when students ask a question I don't know the answer to. Just makes me feel like there are more deserving people for the position that I'm in. But I also try and remind myself that it's impossible and not realistic to know everything. We're not chat GBT. There's holes in our knowledge and that's okay. What matters is the willingness to improve and learn. Yeah, I mean, that is true, you know, you can't really know everything. And I think being told, like, you're not good enough is uh, just a, you know, it's, it's, not a, it's not a bad mindset, but, you know, you're not going to know everything in life. And uh, I think it's important to just really be confident in yourself and that no, there's always room for improvement and that something you can always work on and control. Feeling a lot of imposter syndrome doing computer science. Sometimes I am the only girl in the class and it can be intimidating in group settings as I feel like my voice is not heard or I have to prove myself before my classmates take me seriously. I've had close guy friends tell me how easy it, I have it, it being in comp sci, that guys will help me and it's easier getting a job, etc. I'm constantly comparing myself to my peers, convinced that they're all smarter and more talented than me. I'm terrified of making mistakes, of failing exams, of not being able to solve a programming problem on my own. And even when I do succeed, I'm haunted by the fear that it was just a fluke, that I'll never be able to replicate that success again. Yes, <laughs> definitely big relate. Uh, my main degree is engineering, and I remember sitting in class that was covering like algorithms, and we don't cover algorithms in engineering. And I remember sitting there and wanting to cry because in the lecture, 
the lecturer was like, yeah, so these are like main algorithms that you need to use for the assignment. And everyone around me, all of my friends were like, yep, I've done that before, no worries, that's not a problem. And I sat there going, I don't know what these are. I don't know what to do. And I really wanted to cry <laughs> in that lab room. <laughs> and I sat there thinking, I'm such an idiot. I'm so stupid. I can't do anything. Um, I'm going to fail this course. I'm going to fail this degree. I'm going to, yeah, you can see how quickly I spiraled. <laughs> um, and it's definitely something that I'm constantly struggling with, with this thing of not being good enough. And it's such, a, it's such an easy way to break me, that thought uh, of not being good enough. And the way that I've been trying to get through that is trying to think of it logically, like that thing of being haunted by your f the fear that it was just a fluke. How many times can you actually fake that? Like how much can you, how, how lucky can, well, honestly good for you if you're that lucky. <laughs> um, but like, I guess in a way, everyone's trying to get from A to B, but that's not always a straight line and it's always, a different path and you know it that's okay it, you might have intersections with someone else's path but it's not gonna look exactly the same and if it looked exactly the same that's kinda boring um, so you're gonna get there eventually it's fine uh, it just might take longer it might be slower it might be different paces but that's okay because that's you you're comparing your behind the scenes to someone's highlight reel so don't worry about them too much that's okay but I understand it's so natural it's so normal to compare yourself because that's all you're looking at um, but you really should just be focusing on how you are improving as a person. And I believe you can replicate that success again. All of these insecurities weigh heavily on me every day. But despite it all, I'm determined to keep going, to keep learning and growing as a computer scientist. Because I know that hard work and dedication, I can overcome these doubts and become the best programmer I can be. Um, yeah, that makes me really happy to hear. I feel like as long as you have a passion in coding and to never let someone take that away from you, um, never let someone tell you that you're not good enough in this industry or smart enough in this industry, because trust me, the imposter syndrome is, is really real <laughs> doing coding. Um, but I'm really happy that you, know, you keep putting in the hard work.